Who would be willing to go right into the eye of this devastating storm and others like it? Well, storm chasers risking their lives to get the images and often the data we need to understand the fury of these storms and where they're going. These images are from a pilot who's been up in the air since early this morning, flying from Marco Island up to Naples, Florida. His live stream broadcasting all day and getting more than half a million views. Let's take a look. It's 11 a.m. and I'm uh, on the north side of Marco Island and the hurricane's approximately 60 miles south of us at this time. The, the water in the bays and inlets here has is, is went out and as the eye approaches, that storm surge is going to come back in over Marco Island. My plan is right now is to stay near the bridge here. This is my escape route out of Marco Island before the storm surge hits. That's my plan right now in this general area. As we're going to total whiteout conditions, as the main 90 to 100 mile hour winds are approaching now, we're going to total whiteout, uh, white vapor now coming off the, the channels and the salt water. It's just a white, solid wall of white coming inbound now into Marco Island. Look at, the, look at this, total wide out now. Wind sustained at 80, going to 90. Just look at this right here, this open area. Look at this right here in front of me, guys. Oh my gosh, here we go. There's Marco Island Bridge. I'm escaping Marco Island now. Now the, the water is surging in north side of the bay. The water's coming up rapidly now on the north side of the bay. Wow, oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's surging in here. On the north side of the inlet, it's, it's rose like eight feet. Eight feet, probably five to eight feet in the last 15 minutes. I'm off the island. I'm off the island. Now I'm northbound. The water is rapidly coming up here. Now we're about ready to get pounded here uh, around that three to five o'clock, six o'clock time frame. It's going to be really, really rough here. Everything's breaking apart. There's flying debris. The water look is coming up. The trees are flying, breaking off. Hurricane Irma in the eye wall. It's unbelievable. Continuous lightning and the winds gusting to 130, 35 at this location. But the whole part behind me is coming apart. Oh my gosh. This is it. This is the this is the final ride in the eye wall. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Southeast of Naples, we're in the eye wall. Just not totally clear here. And uh, we've got power lines down both on the north side of 41 and south side of 41. And I'm making my way uh, back to the northwest. I'm coming up with the eye wall now, moving my northwest toward. And here's a guy coming out of, let's see where he came out of. Okay, there's multiple people coming out of these homes here. I don't know if they're injured. Let me see what's happening here. Are you guys okay? You okay? Huh? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Looks like we've got a, like a two inch, three inch uh, water line break here. This is water gushing out. You got it. They just shredded the trees in here. It looks like a, it looks like technically like a tornado went right through here. Look at all these trees are shredded. It shredded these trees. It like debarked them. This is I haven't seen this before in a hurricane. It, this looks like this may have gotten here with the possible tornado vortex right there. Look at it. It shredded all the trees on 41 here. This is on the road to Marco Island. So Marco Island North is where the most uh, water damage is one of the most difficult storms I've ever chased in my 40 years of chasing. And uh, this will go down in the history books as like no other hurricane we've ever chased or forecasted in uh, the history. Pretty dramatic images there. We shouldn't point out that this isn't thrill-seeking, at least not totally on the part of these storm chasers. They really are in search of important data that we can use uh, to, act, to judge where the storm is going, how fast it's moving, and what the conditions are like in the midst of that storm. And right now, by the way, we're getting news that the center of Hurricane Irma is currently located 50 miles east, east northeast of Fort Myers. And Fort Myers is where our ABC's Tom Yamas was earlier this evening, where he battled winds and rain, giving us a live report. And it was really hairy for a few of those moments. Hurricane Irma is shredding Fort Myers at this hour. Just behind me, there was a stop sign. It was a metal stop sign. It was embedded in concrete. It's just been ripped out of the post and it went flying behind me. Over here, you can see it's a whiteout. It's very tough to see right here, but you can see the line of the hurricane winds. It's an east to west wind. It is shredding those palm trees at this hour. David, I, I don't have a radar in front of me, but I don't need one. Hurricane Irma is right over us right now. We, we are a little more inland. We're a little bit more protected, and we're a little concerned because there's a marina across from us right now, and I'm a little concerned about the projectiles, so we're going to move back inside. But at this hour, Fort Myers is getting absolutely 
ripped apart. There's a curfew in effect at 8 o'clock. It doesn't matter. You can't be in the streets right now. David, back to you. estimate was, was, was similar to Naples. I think it was a little less than Naples. We're about 10 feet above um, sea level right now. So far, there's, there's no type of storm surge, no type of flooding at this hour. But David, as you know, the storm surge comes later. Wow, very dramatic images from Tom Yamas and many, many other reporters out in the midst of Hurricane Irma and various points along Florida. And many of you have obviously uh, expressed concern about many of the, our, our, our colleagues' safety, theirs and the other reporters and their teams in the field, whose those frantic moments when they try to stay safe while bringing you the story from the front lines. Here's a look at how they do it. Yeah, I'm going to get my jacket on. Woo! And Wolf, I didn't have a rain jacket on when this squall hit because it had not rained a single drop here all day long. And look at this. You can really start to feel the wind and the rain coming down. I'm getting blown away here, so you know what, JC and Eric, we're going to send it back to you. It's getting a little dangerous. Yes, we're going to head inside. I can tell you what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling. Han sido golpeados principalmente. Han sido golpeados principal, principalmente por lo que es el viento. If we can, I want to show you a little bit about of, of what we're seeing out here just off behind me. When that rain hits your face, uh, it really hurts, guys. I believe right now I'm standing pretty much where the storm drain is. And you can see uh, just how far I've sunk down into the sand. I know, it's pretty, it's pretty dramatic here. Ooh, all right, here it comes. Whoa! Irma, that's, oh, here we go. This is why they should not be out on these roads. This is why they should not be out on any beach. Right outside. Calma es lo que no hay, pero digo, ni un átomo aquí en la ciudad de Miami. Really strong out here right now, actually. Difficult to even keep our balance in, so, uh, yeah, I Uh, that's some tough conditions out there. As Matt Gutman told us earlier tonight, it's like physically pummeling you when you're in uh, out working in those conditions. So everybody stay safe. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.